The ultimate answer to the childhood obesity epidemic is to deal with what's been called our toxic environment with junk food everywhere, advertising of unhealthful products to kids, inadequate opportunities for physical activity, but that's gonna be a long-term prospect. We can begin to protect our children immediately in one environment through which we have 100% control, and that's the home. Parents can use very basic uh, behavioral change practices to begin to guide their children to a healthy lifestyle right away. And that's in fact the focus of the work that we do in the Optimal Weight for Life, or the OWL program at Children's Hospital Boston. The two key parenting practices really at any age are called protecting the home environment and modeling. Protecting the home environment simply means if it doesn't support health, don't bring it in the home. You can say no once to your kids when they're asking you for that gallon of ice cream in the supermarket, or you can try to say no every night when they're nagging you for it if it's sitting in the freezer. The same also applies to physical activity. Let's not have a high definition, widescreen television in every room. Let's put opportunities for physical activity, active games, kids can close the doors, have fun, and enjoy themselves. A second key parenting practice is called modeling. Um, and the idea here is that if you do it, they'll do it. But the opposite is also true. If you don't do it, they won't do it. When parents are eating well and engaging in a physically active lifestyle, they'll be modeling the right behaviors for the overweight or obese child, and the parents' own cardiovascular risk factors improve. All too often, parents resort to negative practices like nagging, punishment, criticism. Um, very common for parents to try to force their kids to eat foods that they think are healthy, like fruits and vegetables, or excessively restrict other foods like candy. Um, but these practices tend to backfire. They make the kid dislike fruits and vegetables and actually crave those restricted foods even more. Instead, we encourage practices like praise, um, goal setting, um, self-monitoring, um, something we call empowerment, where kids actually participate in food preparation, even food selection. And we have a saying that if they cook it, or if they select it in the store, they'll probably eat it. Many parents are working uh, multiple jobs, leaving little time to shop for and prepare foods at home. Um, also, especially in some inner city communities, fast food is cheap and available, and nutritious food ingredients, like fruits and vegetables, can be very expensive or literally unavailable. Yet another factor is that children are under a lot of stress, almost ridiculously early in life. Young children are under academic pressures to exceed in scholastic studies, and this can not only limit time for being outdoors, playing, and relaxing, but also put so much stress on a young child that it influences their eating habits. They may turn to food for comfort, and obesity is the almost unavoidable consequence.